Looking down the track, the narrow framing problem. Excerpted from the book, Safe Haven, Investing for Financial Storms. Let's look at a simple illustration of a pervasive problem for investors known as narrow framing. Actually, we'll look at a particular case of potential narrow framing where we manage to easily overcome it, the pit stops of auto racing. Tire degradation and performance are key to race strategy, literally where the rubber meets the road. The tires are where the power from the engine is transferred into speed and what keeps the car from skidding off the track. They've been called the driver's life insurance policy. In circumnavigating the track, we have two basic options. Option one, stay with one set of tires the entire race and drive more slowly in order to preserve the tires and stay on the track. Option two, pull into the pit stop mid-race and while waiting for what feels like an eternity, but ends up being about 10 seconds, Swap our tires for new ones. Now we can use softer, shorter-lived, and grippier tires, since they don't need to last as long, and thus we can safely tear around the track. We can achieve safely by simply driving slower, or we can achieve safety another way, such that we can drive faster. Which is the winning strategy? If we take too long in the pit stop, and if the tires aren't grippy enough to make up for that lost time, then the math won't add up and the slower car with the harder and worn out tires will have the edge. The answer comes down to the cost effectiveness at winning the race between the pit stop and just driving slower. But it never comes down to the narrow framed cost of not moving for those 10 seconds, ignoring everything else. It is the whole of the race that matters, not the parts. We cannot help but look all the way down the track to the finish line at the end. That finish line remains always in our sights as the obvious only goal. Unfortunately, framing things coherently in this way becomes extremely challenging when we turn from auto racing to investing. Some risk mitigation strategies added to your portfolio are like a pit stop, as they allow you to drive your portfolio faster by investing the rest of it more aggressively. But narrow framing often makes us choose to drive slower instead. Just like in auto racing, we need to look at things holistically. Getting this framing right, whether in racing or in investing, is the key to winning the race.